everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. By popular request, I have designed some stinking cute new merchandise. You can find the link to my merchandise in the description box below where you will find some stinking cute designs, styles, and colors. So what do I have going on for today? Today I am bringing to you a DIY farmhouse wall decor piece for your kitchen using Dollar Tree items. This DIY is somewhat Pinterest inspired. I saw it, I loved it, and I decided to put my own farmhouse Dollar Tree twist on it, making it a budget-friendly DIY. So let's jump into it and let me show you what all I picked up from the Dollar Tree for this farmhouse wall decor piece for my kitchen. For this DIY, I picked up some of Dollar Tree's utensils, some forks, knives, and spoons. I also picked up three of these eight by 10 frames, I'll also be using some Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color of Nutmeg and some Satin Almond spray paint by Krylon. Make sure to head on over to Kayla's channel this week where she shows you the talent that she has when it comes to photography and some of the pictures that she's taken over this summer. She is an amazing photographer. Head on over to her channel. The link to her video is in the description box below. For this DIY, I'm going to start off by taking Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color of Nutmeg and taking the three 8x10 frames that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'm not going to take these frames apart. I'm going to leave the glass and the backing on the frames and just simply spray paint it just the way it is, glass and all. I'll also be spray painting three forks, three knives, and three spoons giving them all a nice base coat using this Nutmeg Spray Paint by Rust-Oleum. Once all my pieces have dried, taking Krylon Spray Paint in the color of Satin Almond, I'm gonna apply a top coat, a second coat over the base coat, which is the Nutmeg. When doing this top coat using the Satin Almond Spray Paint, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm gonna give this only one coat. I'm gonna do the best coverage that I can, but if it doesn't completely cover, that's okay because it's only going to add to that age distressed look that I'm looking for for this DIY. All three of my frames are dry and all nine of my utensils are dry as well. Let me show you what we're going to do next. Taking a real fine grade sandpaper. This is the sandpaper I'm using. It's a sandpaper that you can get at Walmart with several pieces in it for $1.97. I'm going to ever so lightly go over the top of this frame, not sanding real hard because I don't want to go through all of the layers of spray paint. I want to go through just this top layer of the satin almond so we can see the nutmeg underneath. Once I've sanded and distressed the outside of my frame, I'm then very gently going to sand and distress the glass in the middle of the frame. You don't need a lot of pressure when sanding and distressing the glass because it is glass and the paint will come off pretty easily. I'm going to do this to all three of my frames. Leaving my frames looking something like this. I'm also going to take my sandpaper and lightly distress all of my utensils on only one side. It distresses and sands pretty easily. It takes maybe a minute per utensil. Not a lot of work. It's pretty easy to do and the outcome is stinking amazing. I love what distressing and sanding these utensils does to the utensils after you've spray painted them. It gives it such a chic farmhouse look.
I've got my three frames sanded and distressed. And I tell you, it is amazing what a little bit of spray paint and DIYing does to these Dollar Tree frames. It really transforms them into something so farmhouse chic. I love it. I've also distressed and sanded all of my utensils. Now let's put this together. For this part of the DIY, I'll be using my hot glue gun to adhere these knives onto the glass part of these frames. An alternative to the hot glue would be Dollar Tree's Fix All or even E6000 if you're not comfortable with using hot glue. I will then do the same thing with my spoons, hot gluing them onto the glass part of the frame. And the forks as well. And would you look at how stinking cute this turned out. This is so rustic farmhouse chic. I love it. And the best part of this DIY is that people will never guess that this was made using Dollar Tree items. This is a piece that looks more expensive than it is and is guaranteed to leave people talking about it. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture of it, send it to me on Facebook because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. And don't forget to head on over to Kayla's channel to see that creative eye of hers behind the lens of her camera. Link to her video is in the description box below. And how about some subscriber shout out? First one going out to Lisa Silva, Christine Dizen, Jack Zazulok, Crystal Frager, Kathleen Hale, and Angel Kisses. And there you have it. How quick and easy is this DIY and the outcome is so stinking rustic and farmhouse. I love it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody.